Hi guys, sorry I've not had a video up for a wee while. Um, at the moment, uh, I'm trying to get back into the car. Um, I have been kind of working on my flat at the moment. Um, basically, it's up for sale, so um, there's lots of kind of things going over, oh, going on, going over. Um, I've got the front end off the car. I've um, got big chunks cut out of the back. I've got bits cut out of the boot. I've got things happening. Um, I've been trying to kind of work my way around car, the car. Just uh, cutting wee bits out that have been rusted and so forth. Um, obviously nothing kind of um, structural at this point in time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's opened up a few can of worms. Um, the car wasn't great in the first place. You've probably seen a lot of the videos anyway. Um, but um, yeah, uh, now the A panels um, which came on the car, um, I kind of showed you the back of them. Didn't look like they were pressed in correctly, etc, etc. Um, plus, obviously, there's no inner wings in it at all, so they were just basically on with a um, a bar onto the front, um, the whole front of the vehicle. Um, now, the car itself, I have um, been kind of digging away, uh, and yeah, the front panels were uh, the A panels. I might be able to salvage the A panels themselves, but run about the A panels and so forth are, are rotted and bodged repairs and so forth, which is that it's really shit. Be perfectly honest. Um, so uh, yeah, even more work, even more work. Just need to keep chipping away at it till I get to a point where it's um, novice trying his best, but we'll, we'll see. So um, this is the low way panel. As you see, it was braced on with uh, this um, piece here. Um, because obviously this has had to be supporting the front, whole front end of the car to be perfectly honest. And this is solid, um, it was absolutely solid. Um, but if you actually look at the back, if you can see all that kind of filler was along there. Um, it was well, it was pop riveted on the bottom. It was also welded um, at the edge um, onto the car, um, and it was welded um, onto the top as well. Um, with filler just squeezed in all the gaps really to, to kind of give it a better appearance um, now these are probably not that expensive but what I'll do is I'll give it a clean up see whether I can keep it um, if not as I said it's, it's not it's not mega 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 amount of cash but still an amount of cash which to be perfectly honest don't want to be really spending because there's going to be floors and all sorts coming in, um, which is that's going to be the big. This that's the main one. Um, I'll quickly show you um, some of the the holes, um, and you can see for yourself. Give me two seconds. So front end of the car, as said, when you get round to. The, the the car itself obviously this is the bracing for the um the front the front flip which never really a, a, appeared this was um, welded on here with obviously the bracing um you can see as we kind of go up the state of the panel here um and if we go around we can just skip in quickly you can see that it was welded on at the top. They kind of state that everything was connected to. Now, obviously, they had the big hole. I've basically kind of cut a big chunk out of this. Looks bigger than it is. No, it doesn't. It's big. Um, but you can see inside. You can see that. All the rust. And stuff so now these have oversells on them um, now obviously we can see there's a rotten floor there anyway uh, but there's a big part of this this floor it's actually I've took the um, that side end and stuff off and you can see it's actually really solid actually in, the, in part of it um, but yeah that's that's good that's a great point I'm not doing another wee piece out the top here, and um, this was all rotted in here, so I've got all uh, the pieces cut for that just to be welded in. Um, I'll try my welding, um, and um, also as we get to the back here, I've cut another wee piece out um, to to basically kind of fill in as well. Um, now uh, I can't remember if I showed you this, so what I've done is I've taken the 
the box out, the uh, battery box. Um, I do have some video of me attempting that, but because this was, as you can see, it's actually a welded, if you can see that, it's actually a welded piece that's been put in um, all the way around here. Uh, so I had to, I started drilling everything out. Um, and then got to here, and then obviously that wasn't there, so I had to actually cut the box out as well. Now I have this piece here, which this is all rotten in here. Now there's a piece here, and a well, I say a patch here and a patch here. My thinking is, it is it is good metal, but if you can, it's an absolute riot. I'm thinking instead of having another piece, I maybe just cut that out and put a fresh, larger piece in. Um, I'm not really too sure yet. Now, as I say, there's just more and more cutting, more holes and more whatever. Now, um, a lot of you guys are a wee bit further down the line than me, a wee bit more experienced. Now, obviously in relation to the, um, the arches here, um, this is a bit of a mess. Obviously, I, I do need to uh, fix where the subframe goes in because that was totally rotten. Um, and the brackets were absolutely rotten through. Now, in regards to these, um, I know you can get replacements, but how the fuck do you go about replacing them? Do you know what I mean? Because that's, to me, I, 